All right, I'm here again. It's like almost one o'clock now. I'd like to talk about that I got 15 subscribers and um, I wanna see if we can get this to 20. So make sure you share my channel with your friends that you feel would be interested. It would mean a lot to me. While you're at it, hit the like button. And comment if you want to, but I've got everything cleaned up pretty good. Oh, my mouse is out. Right there, oh, he just went behind this thing. There he is. That's my deer mouse. My white footed's hiding in there. He's still sleeping. But he's in there, I want them both to come out. Pretty cool little critters. So I got the bird cage ready. I took some things out of it. I got it ready for a chipmunk one and if I get one. As a matter of fact, let's go check the traps. So I'm going to be quiet. So it don't even look like there's anything around them. Oh, hold up. Alright, I guess we'll leave him alone. So I hope I can get myself a monk. Uh, he's got one of those hidden monks out there, but... Yeah. Uh, he's more gray and white. He, he basically has more of a winter colors. And, um... Others do. But, mice are still doing great. Uh, oh, actually, yeah. Hang on, are you still back here? Yeah, he's still back here. But, um... I want to fix everything up for this guy. Make it all better. He's coming out a lot more. So I refilled their watering thing. Because actually, one's already been up there drinking. As you can see, there's some mouse poop right there. But, um, my white footed mouse, it's. Uh, this would be his third day now. They usually start coming out more on the fourth and letting you pet him more. He is really scared. There's a good look at him though. I'll move some of this stuff out of the way. Sort of make a cool looking background. There he is. That's a deer mouse. Oh, he's looking at my finger. Oh. Pretty cute, ain't he? I love mice. I like deer mice and white-footed mice. They're all awesome. Pretty easy to take care of, too. I know you guys just want me to film the mouse. So this guy's been doing pretty well. This is um, Saturday, so yeah, this is like his fourth day. And um, I'm picking up their um, nest every day, which is over there. And... Um, Pulling back their bedding and petting them. Both of them now. 
the more I pet them, the more used to me they'll get. But it's really warm in there, as you can see with all that moisture building up. It's really warm in there. Um, I still, I'm still trying to make a new lid for them. I don't know though. He's doing really well. You guys have no idea the stress I went to just to get that little critter that's in the view of my camera. I went through so much hassle to get George Washington here. But man, I feel it was 100% worth it. Because he is an amazing mouse. A lot of people don't like mice. Like, especially girls for some reason. They hate mice. I don't know why. They're so cute and lovable. And they're smart, too. They're really smart. They adapt to things really well. So. Pretty cool little pets to have. That's why I want a chipmunk. They're basically like larger mice. But mainly this video will be centered around more, more of the mice. So, he's been coming out a lot more. He's been eating really well. Um, this morning I was watching him. He was trying to eat a piece of corn. Um, in that case, he came out on his own to find food. I put a big pile of corn in there. Um, it's harder for them to eat corn. Because it's harder for them to digest it. So... I'm going to feed him with peanuts and stuff more instead because it's a lot more healthy for them as well. The chipmunks will eat corn though. They don't like thistle, they don't like sunflower seeds. And I just don't know what else to give them. He'd probably eat it. Yeah, I think he'd eat a grape. Wouldn't he? Pretty cool, right? Little wild deer mouse. That's my little friend. Deer mice are very similar to white footed mice. But white footed are a little bit bigger. That's my finger. Here's my pinky next to him. It's my pinky next to him. And I know I need to cut my nails. His head's about as long as the tip of my pinky. He's very small. Deer mice also usually have a lot longer tails than white-footed mice. If my white-footed mouse would end up coming out sometime soon to say hi, that'd make things a lot easier, but no, he won't. Only my deer mouse. Oh, there he is. Hey there, buddy. Hi. He likes smelling my finger. I don't know why he's just sitting back there. He thinks that he still has to hide to be safe, but he doesn't. Because I'm not going to kill him. So I think we're going to go check the monk trap again. Let's see if we got anything in it. Beaver down there cutting down trees, dude. Not even kidding. Holy crap. There's a beaver down there. Holy crap. That is nuts. There's a beaver down there. So I think that was the same gray monk or silver monk that we've seen. 
I don't know, maybe. Let's see if um, George is still out. Nope, George went back to bed. I think. Did you go back to bed, George? Hmm? Yeah, I think George went back to bed. Yeah, little old George went back to bed. So that little monk. That's a small one too. He keeps getting there, like really close to both of my traps. I'm wondering where the other monks went. Hey, I've only killed one monk in the season. I could have killed any of the four that are hanging around this area today or yesterday. Let's see if they came back yet. We don't have nothing else interesting going on today, that I know of at least. We did get some Monster Jam tickets though, for the whole family, and those are expensive. We got them for free, because we got um, windows from Hanson's, and they gave us um, a tablet, is what we're supposed to get, and um, some free Monster Jam tickets, four of them. That's how much family members we have. So. Everything's still boiling. We let the chickens free range. We put Gunner back inside the house. So I'll see if we can find them. I have no clue where my chickens are. I am so confused. Guess we can check the, um... Maple tapping industries here. Let's see if we got some maple syrup. And we can also look for chipmunks on the way to see if this would be a good area to put some sets down. Oh, looks like we're having some luck. Uh, not in this guy right now. Oh. Yeah, this guy's got some in him though. I don't know if it's still flowing. No, it's not flowing. Oh, Mom did a new one over here. Not flowing. Let's head to this one. This one's the best one. It really is. Look at it. It's got sap in there. Well, I thought I'd seen sap in there, and I guess I didn't. It's because the sun isn't out, and it's really cold, so it ain't flowing too strong. So. Yeah, we got a pretty good little thing going on here. That's what's boiling over there. It's sap from all these trees. We got about uh, like six gallons of sap from these maples. Then we have some over in the black walnuts. Black walnut trees which are all the way over next to the shed. There you are you stupid chickens. Right after I ended um, this morning's video, Rui was just mean. So I kicked him a couple times and he stopped. Hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all later.